Hello, welcome back to Intruder Security. This video will help you to understand and learn how to update and push the code in upstream repository. In the last video, we discussed the concepts of forked repository and code push from forked repository. If you haven't watched the video, please watch it to get clear understanding about the difference between the upstream and origin repository. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon to stay updated with security content. Let's begin. Let's consider the example of Tom and Dave. Tom owns a repository with all code base. Dave wants to add some feature in this code base. Tom doesn't have the read access to the repository, hence Tom will need to fork the repository and update his own forked repository and raise a pull request from his repository. This is the standard process that is followed in every organization. Let's start. In the tutorial one, we have committed some files in our repository. I will use the same repository as my upstream. This is my repository which will act as upstream. Let's stick to our previous example of Tom and Dave. You can assume yourself in Tom's place in case you want to raise PR in upstream repository. Let's consider this repository belongs to Dave. Let me rename this directory. Let's make another directory which will contain all the code from Tom. Now I will need another GitHub account to maintain repository for Tom. Let's go to another GitHub account. So this is my GitHub account, which will be Tom's repository. Let me fork Dave's repository in Tom's account. For forking, you just need a link to the public repository. For forking private repository, you will need the repository access. Now I can view Dave's repository in Tom's GitHub account. I will just fork this repository. Go to fork option in top right corner and click on fork this repository. This will create new repository in your account which will copy of the Dave's repository. So, I have made the forked copy of Dave's repository. Now let's clone it in local system. Let's make some changes and commit them. Before commit any changes, please ensure that remote origin and upstream set in your repository. Let's add the upstream which will be Dave's repository for Tom. To add upstream use this command git remote add upstream git url. Git url will be url of the Dave repository will be be set as upstream. So we have added both upstream and origin. Every time, make sure that your repository is up to date with the upstream repository before to commit any changes, this will avoid merge conflict. To update the repository, I will use the command git pull upstream branch name. Branch name will be master in my case. 
I have updated the Tom's repository now. Let's commit the changes now. Let's push the changes to the Tom's origin. I will need the access token to push the code to the repository. Follow the steps to generate the access token. Always store the access token securely. Let's push the change to Tom's repository. As you can see, I have pushed the changes in Tom's repository, which is the origin repository. Now let's raise a pull request from his repository to make changes in the upstream repository. To raise a PR go to pull request tab, go to new pull request, you will see the differences in the files of two repositories. Always ensure the head repository and base repository as this changes will be copied to base repository. Also check for the branch name. Git will always compare two repositories and show their differences. Confirm the changes and click on Create Pull Request. You can add the description or message. Allow Edit by Maintainers will allow the upstream owner to edit the pull request and comment on the PR. Let's go to Dave's repository. You will see the pull requests in Pull Request tabs. Now Dave's as the owner of the upstream can view the PR, comment and merge it. Dave can see all the file changes and the commits made by Tom. Let's merge the PR. You can see the Dave's repository is updated with the changes made by Tom. Now let's make some changes in the Dave repository and update the Tom repository. To do this, I will go to Dave's local repository. Let's first pull the latest changes made by Tom. Process will be same, first check for the origin URL. I will use the same command git pull origin master for pulling latest changes to Dave's repository and add make some changes here. Let's commit this changes. I don't have access token for the Dave's repository right now, let me create it again. Let me push this changes to Dave's remote repository.
As you can see that Dave's remote repository has been updated. But the remote repository has not been updated yet. To sync the origin remote repository with the upstream you will the option for update branch. This will pull all the changes from upstream to remote origin. Let's go to Tom's local repository and pull the changes from the upstream. To pull the changes use the following command git pull upstream branch name. Now I have pulled all the changes made by Dave in Tom's repository. Now I will make changes in the file and raise the PR again. Now I can work on these files to push the changes again to the Dave's repository. I hope video explains the whole process how Git works. Stay tuned for more videos. Please subscribe to the channel and follow for more updates. Thank you, see you in next video.